Hey there, my beautiful Saggy friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you're all doing really well. This is a general love and relationship reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. All my zodiac readings are timeless, so please don't worry about when this reading has been uploaded. Just know that if you have discovered this reading, then trust that there is a message here for you today, okay? So before we jump in, I just want to shout out to Kasamba. If you're looking for a personal reading, I highly recommend them. They offer three free minutes, so you can use that time to see if you resonate with the reader that you've chosen, plus you get 70% off your first call. So that's 70% off for new customers with Kasamba. They're a really lovely platform of gifted psychics. So if you need that personal touch, if you want a one-to-one -one reading, I highly recommend them. Okay, right, Sagittarius, let's jump into your reading. Cannot wait to get started. I'll begin with some Oracle cards. We'll see, that's too many, it's like 25 cards. Uh, we'll see what the general theme is uh, for you and your person of interest today. Let's see what you get. Oh, I absolutely love this. We have fate and dare to dream. So this feels like a very spiritual connection. It feels very magical. Um, I feel like there may have been a bit of serendipity in you kind of meeting one another, that there's this kind of element of destiny to your meeting. So I absolutely love this. You were definitely fated to meet each other in this life. And what I love about this, if you can see, it's this kind of claw grasping onto a diamond and it says dare to dream. So maybe you're in that kind of energy of it's impossible, uh, we can never make this work, they would never want me, all of this. This is really a message from spirit, it's just like, just go for it, you can make this happen. If this is what you truly want, you know, this diamond represents your desire. If this is what you truly want in this situation, then go for it and stick to thoughts which uplift you and are in alignment with what it is that you want, not what it is that you don't want. Don't be thinking about the past or things that could go wrong or that kind of disaster thinking that we can get into where we think about the worst case scenarios, right? Dream, focus on your desire and dream about it. Focus on what you want and you will grasp it. So it's about kind of this connection is within your grasp is what I want to say. So if you feel like it's slipping away from you, you can control that by, um, there's this energy as well that I'm getting of kind of knowing that you are a diamond, right? If you know your own worth, if you know your own value, if you know what it is that you are bringing to the table in this connection, right, then they are going to be chasing you. So it's about kind of leveling up your own self-perception and just going, yeah, you know, anyone will be lucky to have me. We get the kind of reflection coming out for you. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith with things that things will work out for the best. So there's a lot here. There's a lot of positivity. So it feels like you're in a situation where things are a little bit unknown. You don't really know what's going on. You can't really see the future with this person, right? But you, there is this element of destiny, um, of you being destined to kind of have experiences with one another. You may be taking some time out from this connection. Um, you may be in no contact or just decided to have a break. Your person may feel a little bit distant, but there is this energy trust and have faith that things will work out for the best. So spirit has a strong message here of just like, I know it's easier said than done, but if you can get into that energy of kind of trusting, right? Trusting your person to come towards you, you know, trusting yourself to act with poise, um, even when things are tricky or rocky, then you will be rewarded, right? With your desire. And like I was saying, this diamond represents your desire in this situation. So... I absolutely love this. Let's look at your tarot. Yeah, we've got the Four of Cups coming out as your general uh, theme of your reading. That one just leapt out of the deck. So I feel like there may have been some rejection here, right? And you get Page of Cups as well, which wanted to come out. So I see that here. I feel like there may have been some rejection. Someone is feeling kind of a little bit put out, despondent about things, feeling like they're a little bit hopeless, like there's no hope. I'm hearing I've had enough as well. So it feels like there's definitely a connection here, that there is kind of flirtation, that there is attraction, right? 
but it feels like it hasn't gone very deep or that this possibility hasn't been kind of fully explored or that it kind of stays at the surface level. Your person may be a little bit younger than you, they may be acting immaturely as well, right, when it comes to this connection. For some of you, not for all of you, that's just a message that I'm getting that they may have been a little bit immature about things, about the way that they're dealing with things, how they've treated you. And this is leaving you feeling a little bit put out, a bit despondent about this, um, just a little bit depressed about the whole situation, right? I feel like there's a lot of contemplation here about this connection, about the feelings that you are harboring for this person or vice versa. These messages can all resonate vice versa as well. So that this may be your person who's having some time to think about this. I'm hearing the words budding feelings as well. So it's just like feelings that are developing, that are growing as well, or just feelings that they're holding on to. So someone in this connection who may be holding on to feelings, they're harboring these feelings in their heart, right, regardless of what's going on between you, okay? When you're apart, they're thinking about you, okay? Let's see what's been going on with you guys. Yeah, lots of pages coming out here. So definitely this energy of kind of like the new flush of love, something like this, again, that this person could be younger than you or that there's an age gap between you, not for all of you. Just for some of you, this could be your first kind of real romance, your first kind of true love. Uh, for some of you in this group as well, you get Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So I'm just sensing that there is a lot of high vibrational energy between you and your person, right? that you do, you are their perfect 10, right? You do create a lot of emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, feeling really good when you're together. You're just like, uh, there's this energy where your person connects with you and they're just like, yes, you're everything. You're everything that I wanted or just like, I feel so complete or so full when I'm with you, okay? I sense that there's a lot of flirtation here, that there's a lot of fun, that you've got like the same sense of humor together, that you really vibe with one another. There is this strong energy of exploration of just like, this makes me feel really good, right? I want to take this further or I want to explore this more, right? This is what I'm getting with this. So there's so much energy here about like this could be a crush or it could just be new energy of kind of possibilities. It's like you have piqued their interest or they're starting to question, you know, what does this mean? So much flirtation here and this kind of magnetic attraction. And also just like the depth of feeling that they have here is something that they haven't really connected to before or feels very special is what I'm hearing. There's a little bit of magic in the air when it comes to this connection, right? So they're starting to ask these questions of themselves of like, where is this going? What do I really want? You know, and this connection feels different to them is what I'm hearing from spirit. So it feels very different and they're like, well, what does this mean, right? I've not felt like this. What does this mean? What is it all about? So they're in this kind of questioning, excuse me, questioning mode. But so much energy of wanting to kind of explore this and a lot of good feelings here that you've shared, okay? These are kind of past energies here. So it feels like there's this energy of like feeling like there's a lot of potential here there's a lot that you want to explore because it feels so good, because there's a lot of possibilities here, right? Because um, also it may be the case that feelings develop very quickly, right? Those kind of budding, blossoming feelings kind of develop very quickly. It could have even been like love at first sight or, you know, kind of quite soon after meeting is what I'm sensing. I just want to check in with you guys, Sagittarius, and just see... Um, how you are showing up to this connection so I can see how the energies align for you. Yeah, you know exactly what it is that you want. You've got the King of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Gemini's energy showing up here, Libra, Aquarius energy as well. Um, I'm seeing here for you. So it's just like, yeah, it's definitive for you. You know exactly what it is that you want. This is your truth. It may have been that you've spoken up about how you feel. This could be a long distance connection that's separating you for some of you with this three of wands energy showing up, right? 
Um, but yeah, I think you've been really truthful. I think you've worn your heart on your sleeve and maybe you've spoken up about it and just been like, yes, I would like a relationship or yes, I would want more. Or this could just be just, you're very clear in your mind about what it is that you want. You're not like in that energy of, I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe I want this, maybe I don't, maybe it's not a good idea. You're just like, it's like you're all in, you're 100% on board with this. You know with clarity what it is that you want and you can speak about that and you want to explore this. You want to see where this will go and where this will lead you and if it will take you to a relationship, right? And your truth is that, truth, excuse me, is that you would like a relationship with this person because you recognize that they are your soulmate with this two of cups, right? You recognize um, uh, you see them at the soul level, right? So it may be the case that you are very clear. You recognize that this is a soulmate connection. You know what it is that it's all about, what you're dealing with. And your person perhaps doesn't recognize that, but they're curious. They're curious about these feelings that have been awakened within them as a result of connecting to you and to your energy and experiencing that, right? Let's see what's going on with your person. Wow, your person is in an interesting space right now. Five of Wands, the Moon, the Tower, Pisces energy showing up strongly for you. So I feel like they're having this fight within themselves with this Five of Wands. There is kind of, they may be going through a rough time for some of them, right, with this Tower energy. They may have some external influences. But what I'm really getting from this is that they have, they're having like an inner struggle about this. And about these feelings, they've got some fears around this connection. They may not have spoken to you about this. They may be keeping this kind of a secret. They may be keeping this under wraps, right? They feel like you have really rocked their world with this tower energy is what I'm getting. Okay, you've left them feeling really kind of unbalanced. This whole thing, you understand that it's soulmate and this is why it feels really intense. This connection feels really intense to them, okay? Emotions are running high with this moon energy, okay? But they're connecting a lot to kind of their triggers, to their shadow self. Your person is deeply triggered right now. I don't know what's happened between you. I don't know whether there's been a breakup or a breakdown in communication um, or whether your person has kind of broken it off with you. We did have that energy of rejection, right? But they do care about you and their feelings right now are very intense. But I sense that your person is in some sort of deep trigger. And I'm hearing the word wounding. So this trigger may have come out of some kind of issue or wounding that they've had, right? So they wouldn't feel this intensely if, if this wasn't serious for them, if this didn't kind of, if you hadn't really impacted them, you know, if you hadn't had an impact on them, they wouldn't feel this strongly. But this is what I'm seeing, that your person is really deeply triggered by whatever it is that's going on with you. You can kind of take it how it resonates. I feel like they're not really speaking up though about how they're feeling. They feel like they're a little bit of a mess. I feel like there could be an energy of kind of, that they've undermined the connection somehow for some of you. Like the, it, I'm hearing the word intensity, so it feels quite intense. Okay, so you get the Five of Wands again, Page of Cups, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy showing up very strongly here. So I feel like their inner conflict that they're having is about kind of the long term. It's just like, yes, they enjoy your energy, your company being around you, your attention, right? They enjoy the flirtation, but they feel unsure about the long term, about kind of long term commitment or offering more, right? This is where the sticking point is. It's about commitment. It's about the long term. It's about kind of, uh, you know, like 
saying, yes, you're my person or kind of being serious about this or kind of taking this forward into something that's kind of more serious. It's just like they feel more comfortable when things are more fluid, more surface level, uh, you know, when it's just fun and dating and they haven't had to make any promises, okay? But when it comes to thinking about the long term or about being in a relationship, um, this can be a bit of a trigger. And it could just be that I want to say really strongly that this has nothing to do with you, Sagittarius, okay? This isn't about your worth or you not being good enough or you need, needing to earn this or be different. No, no. This is like about them, okay? It's about their doubts around commitments or it could just be to do with their external circumstances, where they are at in their life at this time, okay? So, you know, that could be, oh, you know, but I'm busy studying or I had plans to travel or um, we live in different locations. I don't see how this can work in the long term. This is the doubt that they have, but they definitely feel more comfortable when it's more kind of fluid, when there's no labels, which obviously suits them very well. Um, but when it comes to developing that, they feel some inner resistance to it. So that's worth knowing, I think. That's the kind of shadow aspect that we're dealing with here. Okay, there's going to be an end to this doubt. You get death, king of cups, hanged man, right? There's going to be an end to this doubt that they've been having in this inner conflict. So this is like spirit is really saying, this is something which is just um, a phase, right? It's impermanent and it's going to be able to end, right? There's going to be a, a transformation that they have where they realize that, yes, you are a very special person, king of cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy showing up here really strongly that you're a very special person, that you're a treasure to them, that you're a really good friend to them and that they do love you, okay? So they're going to be able to come out of this time where they feel a little bit triggered or kind of wobbly, right? Um, into something where they can be more committed and kind of make this commitment to you, right? They're bound up to your energy where they recognize that this is a soulmate energy that you're kind of bound together energetically, that they have love for you and that they want to make you their person. This is what I'm seeing. And there's a strong energy of transformation and of them seeing things differently, right? And what I'm hearing from spirit is seeing things in a new light. I see things in a new light is what I'm hearing. Okay, so, and also I think there's this, this development, so these kind of embryonic feelings, these kind of, this love which is just kind of budding in their heart can grow, right? It's being transformed into something much more solid, much deeper, much more mature, right? Stepping into that kind of more emotionally mature energy and being able to kind of see things differently. Yeah, we have the gateway. This is the 1111 card the relationship card as well that I see here for you coming out. This is really nice. So yeah, you're going through like this gateway and it really represents kind of like that as above, so below of kind of things coming out of the, the 5D, the energetic and kind of being birthed, if you like, into uh, 3D reality into the real world for you to kind of fully experience it. So there is this kind of, it is a process but it is one of transformation. So I see that happening. I think that's really positive as well. <clears throat> we get the card resistance coming out for you. This is from the Echo Soul Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks, if you want to check those out. So this resistance is really mirroring that five of wands energy. Oh, I'm being called to draw from this deck that we've been seeing, so um, in your reading. So that's the sort of um, energy that your person is in right now. They may be resisting the connection, resisting you, resisting any sort of contact. There could be this energy that they're trying to resist the connection as well because they feel like it isn't a good idea for the long term because of where you are at in your life and where they are at in their life, okay? So that's kind of their thought process right now. But remember, we're just looking at a snapshot of the energies. But I see them kind of, I just see their feelings for you growing, right? They can't let you go. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, releasing 
mirroring that death energy as well that we were looking at um, earlier, you know, releasing those kind of beliefs, releasing that kind of thought pattern, that thought process that they're in right now where they're kind of putting up resistance to it. They're letting their guard down is what I'm hearing from spirit. Speak. This is really good. I see them being able to kind of speak up, speak their truth. Um, if you're looking for them to contact you, to reach out to you, to talk to you, I really see you being able to do that. I see them reaching out to you to talk, okay? Not just a message to actually want to talk to you, you know, to say, let's have a coffee or to talk to you on the phone or whatever. They want to really connect with you and kind of talk to you. And this is in their energy right now, even though they're processing things, even though they may be quite shut down, they've got a lot that they want to say to you and they want to speak up about this. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That's everything that I have for you, Sagittarius, in this reading. It's been my honor to read your cards, as always. If you're still here at the end of this reading, thank you so very much. Uh, I'm sending you lots of love and blessings. I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care. Bye-bye.